it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. So here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> See if he can advance position. Marco Medoff's going for an arm here. Oh, that's tight. Ooh, strong grip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Oh, belly down now. That is 
a beautiful transition to try to get the finish. Oh, he got up! He actually defended. No, he's not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was before. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermako Meta. He's got to be careful here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrift. You got to get up in a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Nermako Medov's in half guard. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip and push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Mago Medov's going for a choke here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sunk. Come on, I'll stand you up. Let's work. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, now gets it on. Hope to get a more dominant position. Second round, straight ahead. Let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend, Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach Ready. in that ground and pound Ready. sequence. Go. All right, round two. Nice one-two combination there. Just a slip there. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in it. Oh, no. All right, so he catches the kick there. And beautiful counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense. But you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drills that exact action. And it worked in this instance. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. Right to the knee on belly. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Guess the single collar tie now. Nermago Meta has got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. you got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful transition. Nurmago Medov, ground and pound from half guard now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of this game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Habib's back in side control. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. So two minutes to go here in our second round. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. DC, that arm's still in trouble. It's about to snap, John. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Nurmago Medov's in half goal. Working out of the half goal here. Nice shot there by the champ. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All 
All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love to troll. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking goals. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he got to the spot. Nicely done. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in and largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going to him. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. He sets up a beautiful submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> With two minutes and change to go in round three. Khabib's in half court. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the fence because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Got to watch his neck. Oh, Darce Choke locked and loaded. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission. Now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Now, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, good defense, yes. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground and pound strike lands. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds to go. Right now, it looks like he may trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Hey, Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Come All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus four. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normal. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go the extra 10 minutes. Separation the clinch. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Silva's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. Oh, 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 he is officially rocked. A big pass that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, nice level change. He's going Kimura now. Oh my goodness, I think he might have it. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Metal. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Fight IQ on 100 as this guy continues to target that swollen area. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermako Medov. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nermago Medov. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Yep, got to be very careful. Under 30 seconds. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Marco Medov's back in full mount. Great ground oh, and oh. 20 minutes down, five to go. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice punch to the head. Both fighters. Oh, 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 right on the button. I mean, perfect rhythm shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all the fighting. It is very difficult. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would say. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this, and as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. 
step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, I don't understand what anyone's waiting for. They're giving this guy a chance, but if he doesn't do something different defensively, it won't last much longer. Setting up an arm bar now. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. This has got to be the end. There's the tag! What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 13 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. All right, so Khabib Nurmagomedov had a lot of submissions late in his UFC title run. He gets another one here tonight, and when you get to the ground with this guy, caution, flammable. Absolutely. I mean, he's one of those guys that really can dominate you if you aren't careful. And that's exactly what he showed tonight. He gets to his position. He makes you grapple on his terms. And he does a good job of really controlling his opponents. You make a mistake, this guy will take your neck and he will choke you out. And he told us respectfully in the fighter meeting he saw a huge discrepancy in the grappling skills in this matchup. And obviously it played out that way tonight. Congratulations to the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov.